Let's begin our discussion by going over some reflection rules. Let's say if you want to reflect the point x comma y about the x-axis, how would you do it? To reflect it about the x-axis, all you need to do is change the y-coordinate. You need to change it from y to negative y. So basically, you need to negate the y-value. Now, what about reflecting the same point, x comma y, but about the y-axis? What's going to happen then? In this case, you need to multiply x by negative 1. So it's going to become negative x, positive y. That's how you can reflect it about the y-axis. Now, if you want to reflect a point about the origin, you need to negate both x and y. So it becomes negative x, negative y. Now what about reflecting a point across the line y equals x? What's going to happen in this case? In order to reflect it about the line y equals x, you're basically finding the inverse of the point. All you have to do is switch x and y. So x comma y becomes y comma x. Now, if we wish to reflect a point across the line y equals negative x, we're going to switch x and y like we did before, but we're also going to negate each variable. So rather than being positive y, positive x, it's going to become negative y, negative x. So those are some reflection rules that you want to be familiar with. Feel free to write this down in your notes somewhere because we're going to use this shortly. So let's say we have the point 3 comma 2. Let's say it's somewhere in this region. What's going to be the reflected point if we reflect it over the x-axis? So here is the x-axis. Notice that we have to travel two units to get from the point to the x-axis. To get the reflected point, we need to draw the reflection. So it's going to be over here. The new point is going to be, it's going to have the same x value, but the y value is going to change from positive 2 to negative 2. So that's the reflected point across the x-axis. Now, what if we want to reflect the original point about the y-axis instead? Notice that we have to travel three units to go from that point to the y-axis. Therefore, the reflected point is also going to be three units from the y-axis as well. So it should be somewhere in this region. Now this time, the y-value is going to stay the same, but the x-value is going to change from positive 3 to negative 3. So it's going to be negative 3 comma 2. Now, what if we want to reflect that point across the origin? So we have to travel this distance to get from the first point to the origin. The reflected point is going to be the same, it's going to be equidistant from the origin. So it should be somewhere in this region here. Now that point, it's going to be everything that we have here but negative. So instead of positive 3 comma 2, it's going to be negative 3 comma negative 2. So whenever you reflect a point about the origin, both the x and the y values will change sign. Now what about reflecting that same point but about the line y equals x? So here's the line y equals x. And let's say this is 3 comma 2. Let's say it's somewhere here. Where is the reflected point? So if we draw the shortest line that we can from the point to the line y equals x, 
that line will be right here. Now the reflected point is going to be across that. So it's going to be over here, but with the same distance. So it's going to be somewhere in this region. This is basically the inverse of the first point. So the x and the y values will change. This is going to have an x value of 2 and a y value of 3. Now my graph is not drawn to scale, but you could see how it works. It's a rough approximation. But this will be the exact point if you reflect it across the line y equals x. All you got to do is simply change x and y. Now, what if we want to reflect a point about the line y equals negative x? So let's say we have the same point 3 comma 2, which should be somewhere in this area and we want to reflect it across that line. So if we were to draw a straight line from this point to the line y equals x, we would get that. Now if we draw the reflection of that and make sure it's the same length, we should get a point somewhere in this region. Now that point, it's going to have the same numbers, 3 comma 2, but they're going to be reversed and negated. So instead of 2, 3, it's going to be negative 2, negative 3. And you can kind of see that. I mean, it looks like we're traveling 2 units to the left and 3 units down. But that's how you can reflect the point about the line y equals negative x. Let's put the negative sign there. Now let's say we have the same point 3 comma 2. Actually let's use a different point. Let's say we have the line x equals 4. which is the vertical line. And we have the point seven comma three. What will be the new point if we reflect that point across the line x equals four? So that point is three units away from the line x equals four. So to draw the reflected point, we need to travel three units across that line from it. So that will take us to this point. Notice that the y values will be the same for the new point, but the x value will be different. If you want to find the new x value, there's two ways you can do this. You can take seven and subtract it by three two times which is, that's going to give you one. That's probably the easier way of doing it. Or you could realize that this 4 is an average of 1 and 7. So if you set up this equation, 4 is the average of some unknown number plus 7 divided by 2. You could solve for x. So if we cross multiply, we get x plus 7 is equal to 4 times 2, which is 8. Subtract both sides by 7. 8 minus 7 gives us 1, and we get that point here. So that's how you could reflect a point about a vertical line, like x equals 4 or x equals 3 or something like that. Now let's do the same thing, but we're going to reflect it about a horizontal line. So let's say we have the horizontal line.
y equals negative 5. Actually, let's make that y equals negative 2. If we reflect this point about the line y equals negative 2, what will be the new point? So let's travel from that point to this line. Going from 3 to negative 2, we're traveling 5 units down. So to get the reflected point, we need to travel another 5 units down, which should take us somewhere in this region. Notice that the y value is changing, but the x value remains the same. So it's still going to be x equals 7. And to get the new point, we need to subtract 3 by 5 2 times. 3 minus 5 is negative 2. Negative 2 minus 5 is negative 7. So that's going to be the new point. So that's basically it for this video. So now you know how to reflect a point about the x-axis, the y-axis, the origin, the line y equals x, the line y equals negative x, and also other horizontal and vertical lines. Thanks for watching.